Good morning. It is 5 a.m. I've just woken up and I have just woken Dara up. Dara is a chef. She is 14 years old and she is amazing. She was a runner up on MasterChef Junior. And the reason we are getting up is so that she can go to Beverly Hills and work at Bouchon Bakery this morning. Here Dara is in this week's issue of People Magazine. Here she is, MasterChef Junior, lunches, and that's her right there. Oh, I wonder who took that photo. Anyway, um, I am super proud of Dara. She is amazing. How's the water? Mmm, good water. Yeah. I'm outside, I just let Mo out for a pee. One of the cool things about being up this early is that there is nobody around. It is quiet. That's very nice. Not even the birds are up. Here we are in the car. We're on our way to Bouchon Bakery to make some bread. Dara's actually staging there, which is a fancy way to say apprenticing. So she's not actually receiving money, she's just receiving knowledge. Here we are walking in Beverly Hills, walking up to Bouchon Bakery. So if you ever wondered who wakes up early in the morning to make your bread, it's children. Children are making your bread. We have arrived. So this is where Dar just went, Bouchon Bakery, and strangely enough, right across the street was where Hakkasan was in Beverly Hills, where Dar staged there at the beginning of the summer. Mission accomplished. Drop Dara off early in the morning. Go home. It's now six o'clock in the morning and I am going to sneak home under the cover of darkness and jump back into bed very quickly. Hi Sharp Corner, I'd like to introduce you to my leg. Leg, meet Sharp Corner. Oh, I see you've already introduced yourself. The thing about Los Angeles is you gotta love traffic. The great thing about driving early in the morning is the lack thereof traffic. But when you generally drive in Los Angeles in the morning till, I don't know, 10 o'clock at night, it's usually jammed full of cars and you gotta love sitting in traffic. And it's usually proportional to the the more you are in a hurry, the more there will be traffic. I don't know how that works, but the universe has set it up that way. So once again, key thing, love traffic. This is where they made Wizard of Oz. We live right on the other side of this building. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about a theme today and the theme today I think is do whatever you got to do to accomplish your goals. Um, as I said earlier, I'm super proud of Dara. Here she is getting up so early. She has a goal of being a top chef and she works really hard at that and getting up early is all a part of it. I also have my own goals that I work hard at too. I am working at being an actor. I have my acting class tonight which I'm super excited about. We should be putting up our scene. Unfortunately, I can't show you that because we are not allowed to have cameras in class because there's other students in there. There's the awkwardness of that and it is a classroom situation. So um, they keep it pretty closed like that. But anyway, the point being is that you have to work really hard to accomplish your goal and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just something you gotta do. <music> Okay, just logged some hours in bed so I feel much better. Talked with Carol and there is an interesting opportunity arising for Dara from a company, but we're not gonna say anything about it at this point. We will keep you posted if anything happens with it. Um, but now it's time for breakfast. Okay, out of the kitchen and into the fire. I've made a smoothie. And if you wanna see how I made it, you can just watch yesterday's vlog. I had it all in there. Now we are heading into the studio to write up a to-do list.
All right, so I just imported the photos of Nikki right here into Lightroom. We had the photo shoot back here two days ago for her new headshots, and I just have to upload them to the computer, which I'm doing right now. Time to roll. Dara just texted that she is finished at 12 o'clock, and I'm just heading up there to pick her up after her tour at Bouchon this morning. She's probably a little tired because she was up so early, so... Anyway, I'm on my way to pick her up. Have probably the projector locked up. Um, I think I'm going there after my acting class tonight with some cash, dropping the cash off, picking up the projector. So hopefully that should be all good. Get that locked up for the party tomorrow. And uh, yeah, and the day continues. <music> Okay, just picked up Dara and we are heading back to the car and then we're gonna go somewhere and get some lunch. It's a little bit of thunder in the air and some uh, rain. I think it's thunder. Really? Yeah. Let's stand out here in the open by the water. I love to drive. Dropped off Dara and I am heading to the bank to pick up some money because I nailed close the deal with the uh, projector I'm going to pick up after acting class tonight. So it's uh, zoom, zoom, zoom in the car. Back home. Dara is out in the car waiting. And I am going to get some food because I am famished. Snack time. Okay, so we have chicken. We have nectarines and we have apple and some water to wash it all down. Time to go. We're back in the car, and we're driving to where are we going, Dara? Uh, 13 Promenade. To meet... Chloe. Who's one of your friends. From Squella. From Squella. Esquella. All right, here we are. Did we mention... We're doing lane change here. Did we mention that we love traffic? Off my mind! Uh-huh. Oh, pedal! Keto woman! You spit on me! It's my school! See you in two weeks! Bye, Dara! Okay, just dropped off Dara. Heading onto the freeway. We're gonna zip over to a uh, foot massage place that does a awesome job. I always go there like uh, before my class, my acting class, so I can be totally relaxed before I go on stage. Okay, quick update, it's 1.53. I basically got five hours until my scene goes up. I am going into Happy Massage to relax. All good. Pour me in a bucket. Uh, I am relaxed now. This is a very popular store in Los Angeles. It's called Urban Ho. I've never been to, into it, but uh, I know a lot of people go in there and they seem to have a good time. So here we are at Tuesday Night Acting, my scene partner in the back. I'm here, we're gonna go back in that room and uh, rip it up very shortly. This is how I feel on the inside just before we put up a scene.